I am at the beach this weekend and I forgot all my camera equipment. So I'm using my cell phone, which is why I look like death. In any case, I wanted to tell you these swaps I have found for summertime. I did a video like this for spring. There's lots of good little nuggets in there if you wanna go back and watch that video if you didn't see it already. But these are specific to the summertime to help you look a little bit more stylish or just give you another idea of what to wear if you're kind of tired of some of these items in your closet. If you do find yourself liking this video, please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you don't, consider subscribing to my channel and let's get started. So the first swap I have for you is kind of a trend. Well, it is a trend, but instead of your usual crossbody bag, which I feel like a lot of people wear pretty much all year round, what's kind of been trending a lot in terms of bags have been the little shoulder bags. Now, if you remember the, I believe it was 2000, two or three or I don't know, somewhere around Y2K, <laughs> the Prada shoulder bag was so huge. I just remember everybody wanting one and everybody having one. And so this trend reminds me of that a lot. And I think that Prada bag is actually back. And it is something cute. It is something different in terms of small bags. There's some really cute ones on Amazon that are actually really inexpensive and come into a lot of different colors. That would be really fun for summertime. I will link below. But this is a good little swap if you are into bags and you kind of want to try something different besides your crossbody. Do you like capri pants and midi skirts and dresses? I'm not totally sure I do. I do have some capri pants that I do like if I wear them with the right shoes. But overall, I just feel like the midi length and capri pants, they hit people in a weird spot on their leg and they can be very unflattering, a lot more than they are flattering. So anyway, if you also feel like that or you just kind of want something different, Try swapping that out for some Bermuda shorts. Bermuda shorts have been on trend for a couple of years and they are also something that can also look bad on some people and they can look good on some people, but I feel like there's a lot of options now because they have been on trend for a while. There's a lot of colorful ones, there's white ones. So the Bermuda short is probably a good option if you want a longer short or a longer pant, but it's still summertime and you don't wanna wear actual pants. Okay, so you're gonna have to tell me your opinion on this. There are some sandals and I saw them a long time ago and somehow I was drawn to them and I don't know why and I was like, these are ugly. Why do I like these? There's something wrong with me. So I just ignored the feeling and I pushed it away. And now months later, I'm back here and I actually ordered a pair. And so my next swap for you is instead of the traditional strappy sandals, try a caged sandal. I don't know why, but I really like this look and I don't know why because it, I also feel like it's kind of ugly. And so why do I like it? I did order a pair, they're not here yet. If they were, I would put them in this video, but I'm gonna try them out and see if I do in fact like them on my body and my feet. But let me know what you think. Do you like these cage sandals? They are really popular right now. Like you can find them all over the place. Or do you just also think they're just ugly and need to stay? away. This next one is often on an essential clothing list or a staple item people think you need for summer. And I think I've shared this in another video that I don't really think it's a staple. I kind of almost feel like it's a little dated now. And that is that striped shirt, the Brett, I think they're called the Breton stripes. I, that, I could be wrong about that. But the striped shirt that is often said, you know, everybody needs I feel like we've worn that a lot. I have striped shirts and I've worn them to death. Maybe it's just me. Tell me if you also have worn the striped shirt to death. Kind of over that. So if you're also over that, try a bold color. Bold colors are great for summer. You know, pink's been really big. I love green. Green is always a nice color. Blues, try to match something with your eye color. It's just a really great time to try a bold color. You don't need to stick to a boring black and white stripe. Nothing against stripes, nothing against black and white stripes. They are classic. A bold color is just a little bit more exciting. All right, now don't come at me on this one. I know somebody will. It's okay, you can come at me, it's fine. Um, but if you are tired of wedges, which I know wedges are classic, I have said that I feel like they're a little bit dated right now. That's just my own personal opinion. And also, it's, I think it's because I've worn wedges to death. I'm also really tired of avocados. I literally ate an avocado a day for something like two years and I finally got sick of them. So I'm sick of avocados, I'm sick of wedges. Nothing to do with each other. The shoe you can try that's been really big this spring and summer, and also because we're coming out of a quarantine where no one's used to wearing heels anymore, are platforms. And platforms are like platforms, but they are platforms. I'm not sure what the difference is or why they're called platforms and not just platforms. Maybe because they're sandals? 
Maybe I need to look that up. But they are really cute. It's basically like an elevated sandal, like two inches tall or one inch. I feel like they just look so cute for summertime, especially with a dress. And of course they're flat, so you don't have to worry about wearing a heel. We all have sunglasses and hopefully you like yours. If you don't, you need to work on that because sunglasses are a great thing for summer for not only to protect your eyes, but also as a fashion statement. But if you are wanting something a little extra, um, instead of the dark tinted sunglasses, which I do like and I do have and they are great, it's fun for the summertime to try something with a color. Specifically this summer because the yellow tinted is really popular right now and just any kind of colorful like aviators or color colorful lenses have been really big so you'll have a lot of options. You don't have to go fancy with this. You don't need to buy the Ray-Bans. You can buy some cheap $12 one and it, they'll be look really cute. It'll be a fun little fashion statement for the summer and they kind of add something to your outfit. So if you're just dressed kind of boring everywhere else but you've got some really fun sunglasses, I feel like it can like level you up a little bit. You know those beaded bracelets that we were all wearing kind of a lot a couple years ago, maybe even two to five years ago, it's like everybody was into all these beaded bracelets. Like, let's see how many beaded bracelets we can put on our arm. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of over. But I do feel like over the summertime, the beaded bracelets start to come out and that's great. And they're colorful and they're pretty and you know, they're very beachy. But if you are getting tired of those, as you might be if you got really into them a few years ago, Try some shell jewelry. The shell jewelry, it kind of ebbs and flows. Some summers it's big, some summers it's not as big, but it is summertime and if you live near a coastal area, you can always find some cute shell jewelry. You can also find some real tacky shell jewelry, but I'll link some cute options below, at least I think they're cute. As a casual look, just to give your arms some candy instead of the traditional beaded bracelets, I think they're kind of fun. This next one is going to confuse the crap out of you, especially if you watch my channel because I love white outfits. I think they're very pretty, they're very crisp, they're elegant, they look expensive and sophisticated. In fact, if you are trying to look expensive and sophisticated, white is your best friend. That being said, if you are going to an event that you know you have to dress up for, instead of wearing white, try a bold color. Again, like I said about the tops, Bold colors are just made for summertime. Also springtime as well, but I mean summertime, you can wear bright oranges, bright yellow, and it just looks so beautiful. This would also be a good alternative if you're kind of over pastels. Pastels have been huge this spring and summer, and you know, eventually we're gonna get tired of them. <laughs> if you're already getting tired of them, go back to those bold colors, like the bold reds and the bold blues and stick to those. Another color family that's really big for summer, almost always, are the neons. Neon yellow, neon green. Not everybody is into these, but as I've said in another video, I don't remember which one, <laughs> I do actually like neon colors. If you don't like neons or you're tired of neons or neons just not your thing, which it might not be because it's not a lot of people's things. Two big colors I've seen this summer that I think are really pretty and I've mentioned this in another video. One is pale yellow. That is a big color for summer. It's different than just the regular yellow that was like the Pantone color of the year, but pale yellow or pastel yellow. It's very pretty. And the other color that's been big this summer is is pink and it's like kind of that bubblegum pink, Pepto pink is what kind of comes to mind, but it's very pretty. And it also is very pretty, kind of like neon when you have a tan or you have a little bit darker complexion. It's just a really nice color for summer. I think it's beautiful and it's a nice alternative to neons. I know they're not the same as neons, but I feel like they kind of stand out in the way that neons stand out. Does that make sense? So which one of these are you just really against? Is it the cage sandals? It's probably the cage sandals. I am just crazy for liking these, aren't I? You can tell me, you can tell me it's okay. Or is it the Bermuda shorts? Bermuda shorts can kind of be a hard pill to swallow as well, but they do look nice. You tell me what you think. So those are my summer swaps for you. Go back and watch the other video if you want more ideas. I covered a lot of clothing items in that video, so it's a really good video to watch if you haven't seen it already. Let me know what you think, or just say hi, or tell me how your summer's been going, and I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you liked it, or a thumbs down if you didn't. Consider subscribing to my channel, and I will see you next time.